Hello, Ostimation, and welcome back to more Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. In the last episode, we traveled through the Chaos Realm, and we picked up the Chaos Ring. And we're now here, standing in front of this game's final boss door. My soul set here is Lightning Gold, Black Panther, and Succubus. My current item equipment is Claim Soleil, Dracula's Tunic, and the Chaos Ring. Soma's level 66. Level 6, 6, 6. <gasps> Soma's the devil. And we're, about, and we're about to take on the final boss. So... Let's do this. I'm finally here. I wonder if I can do this alone. You're not alone. What? What? Everyone remaining in the castle combined their powers to contact you. Does that mean they all know that I'm Dracula? Yes, Arakato told us everything. I bet they're all afraid of me. No, not at all. At first we were shocked, but everyone believes you'll get through this. I'm gonna send you a message from them now. Listen. You'll visit my shop again, won't you? I'll be waiting for you. Good morning, Soma. I just heard about what happened to you. I told you this before. You are who you are, and you mustn't let him win. To the man who beat me, don't disappoint me now. This is your last chance, and ours as well. I'm counting on you. They're all rooting for me. You can do it, because I believe in you. Video game cheese. Mina. Alright, here I go. Meet Chaos. This is the final boss of Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. In the start of the fight off, he will drain all of your souls. The souls you see are attached to these sort of statues that are spinning around the main core of his body. Depending on what statue you break, that'll depend on what souls you get back. The red one will give you back your attacking souls, the yellow one will give you back your support souls, and the blue one will give you back your... what well, I don't know what you call them, the ability souls, I guess. Overall, this first part of the boss fight isn't too bad. Each statue has its own different attack, but when you break it, the attack stops coming. The most dangerous one is probably the blue one because it sends sort of dragon homing in at you, and that can do a lot of damage very quickly. The yellow one tries to lock in on you with his phaser, which then does damage to you. But overall, this part of the boss fight is just very easy. Especially if you have the Chaos Ring, because that just breaks this boss altogether. Now the first part down, the second part begins. And we find out Chaos is actually the Eclipse. If you try hitting the core right now, you'll do very little damage to it no matter what level you're at. If you want to weaken this thing's defense, you have to break down these sort of four eyes that are around the corners of the boss fight. He has, a mu he has a huge array of attacks in this phase, and it's hard to describe each one of them. Just pay attention to make sure you're not getting hit by stuff. The dragon moving around the sort of arena, I guess you could call it, isn't too difficult to dodge since you can constantly see it coming. The spike attack is probably the most difficult one to dodge, because the spikes, they sort of spiral around the room, unless you're... 100% positive which direction they're going to start spelling from, it's very difficult to dodge them. Thankfully, once you get far enough apart, you can sort of just duck underneath them. You also like to send out these little four orbs, they'll try and home in on you, however, due to the speed they move at, they're really not that difficult to deal with. And you can even knock them back if they're getting too close. Okay, we have one last eye remaining up there. Once all the eyes are gone, Chaos's defense will have weakened a lot, and now we're doing a lot more damage to the core. There we go, managed to dodge a spike attack that time. That snake could be a pain. Also, if you lose this boss fight, you don't just get taken to the normal game over screen. Instead, you get a special game over screen, which is basically another bad ending, which I'll be showing off in a bonus episode. And he does a lot of damage to you, but there we go. Chaos is down. Hello, Soma. Congratulations. I've got another job that I must attend to, so I have to go now. When I heard that you were Dracula, I was shocked. And I was also just waking up, you know. If you think about it, though, every turned out okay. I'll never forget your strength and courage. I haven't thanked you yet for rescuing me, so thanks. You're like a younger brother to me. Oh, friend zone, Soma, I feel you. It was fun, I hope we meet again. Goodbye. Hey there, much obliged for your business in my shop. Back at the castle, I realize my true calling's not fighting. 
I think I'll quit the army and open up a shop sometime soon. If I'm still coming in, I'll give you a good deal. You fought well. When we fled the castle, I felt the power from the vampire killer fading away. I don't know what that means, but I won't have to do anything for the time being. Farewell. Maybe we meet again. The path you took was the most challenging one. You did well. For God to be good, evil is an absolute necessary in this world. In the future, some might follow again in Dracula's dark footsteps. At that time, perhaps we'll meet again. Farewell. In my mother's name, I send thanks to you. Wake up. Wake up. Wake. Wake up. Wake up, Soma. Soma. Oh, thank God. I was so worried about you. Arcado told me you would be okay, but I was worried. I thought you were never going to wake up. I heard everybody's voices. You saved my life. Again. Again? Yes, I couldn't have won the last battle by myself. Everyone's kind words and encouragement led me to victory. I'm so glad your experience didn't change you. But it did change me. In what way? I'm a lot cooler now. Yeah, you have changed. The old son would have never said that. Remember, inside of me, Dracula's power lies sleeping. It may not be evil anymore, but it's definitely changed me. It's okay. If anything ever happens again, everyone would rush to your aid. That's right. I guess they will. Look, the eclipse has ended. Your kind words gave him the strength to win. Thanks. And roll the end credits. That was Castlevania, Aria of Sorrow. 100% souls gotten, the Chaos Ring obtained, there we go. I will be doing two bonus episodes this let's play. In one of the bonus episodes, I'll be showing off the two bad endings. The one you get in the... Well, the ending you get if you face off against Kraem without the free souls equipped, and the ending you get if you lose against Chaos. I'll also be doing a boss rush episode, because now we've beaten the game, we have access to two special things. We have access to a sound thing and a boss rush. The sound thing is basically just for listening to soundtrack and sound effects. But the boss rush, I think we know, will be covering that. Now, there is a third thing in the game which is kind of interesting. Depending on what you put your name in as at the start of the game, you can either play Soma or another character. I may do a bonus episode showing that off, but I'm still not completely sure on that. Because I won't actually be playing through the entire game as the other character. I might just show off that it's there in case you want it. But aside from that, that was Castlevania of Sorrow in its complete entirety. Now, I mentioned there is a hard mode where certain items will appear that wouldn't be there in normal mode. Some certain weapons and clothing items would show up, but aside from that, the game doesn't change that much. And due to the not changing as much thing to the hard mode, I don't really feel the need to play for the entire game again on hard mode, just to draw off some special items. There are some special items you do get, though, if you complete boss rush in a certain amount of time, which I'll be trying to show those off. And we have a nice little group shot of everyone there, and us, of course, the cheesy ending to the video game. And what is Hammer holding? The hell? And the end. Thank you so much for watching my Castlevania Aria of Sorrow Let's Play, and I will see you in the bonus episodes. Until then, goodbye.